Bonjour à tous chers auditeurs de Radio Vibe. Comme vous le savez, notre priorité est de vous faire plaisir et de vous faire découvrir de nouveaux talents. Venu tout droit des états unis on vous présente Sarah Michea, auteure, compositrice, interprète. C'est une découverte Radio Vibe Sarah Miche. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to Paris. Thank you. I love Paris. <laughs> um, first of all, um, I just want you to introduce yourself, please. I'm Sarah Miche. I, um, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm here in Paris doing music and fashion work. Um, so um, I, um, I saw that you are a, a songwriter, a singer, and a composer. That is correct, yes, I sing, um, song, write, and compose everything that I've been working on. Okay, um, how did you write your first song, and um, what was it about? The first song I wrote was actually from when my father, after my father passed away. I wrote a song about him when I was nine years old. I never released it, but I wrote a song at nine years old, and I've been really writing ever since. I've been singing since like the age of four, so I've been singing for a very long time. Okay. <laughs> yes, and I love it. I sing all types of different music. Um, right now, I'm like I consider myself an international singer, meaning I do lots of collaborations with other artists in different in different um, languages. Okay, thank you. Um, is there a signification about your name, Michelle? Yes, Michelle stands for all of my sister's initials. Um, Michelle, Emily, Audrey, and the last. A and Mache stands for Anne, which is my middle name Anne. So the the name Mache really represents like my family and the love and support that I've had for them for music for many years. I just had to include them in my music name. So that's that's where I get Mache for my sisters. Okay, it's beautiful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, what has been your most um, enjoyable uh, song you write and why? I don't know. I've had so many of my favorite songs. I would say that. Uh, recently, I've had uh, two songs that I, I could say that are really my favorite. It's called Paris Vibes, and that was uh, wrote, wrote between a collaboration with an artist, Biga, with Black T Twister Productions and producer Jan. Um, we wrote that song. It's an English and French collaboration. We wrote that this summer. I would have to say that's like one of my most favorite, and then recently also Burgundy, which is, has a Paris, a Parisian vibe in the music. It's, it represents a song of love and happiness and being high off love in life, and those probably two of the most recent ones um, I became to know myself very much so recently as a musician so the songs that I'm writing now I'm very in touch with them and I just really love the international relationships that I've created through music okay thank you um, in 2014 you have been collaborate with Pitbull right. in your song uh, in his song sorry uh, work it uh, what was your favorite your best memories I think making the music video was my favorite. I had a lot of uh, cultural, um, you know, um, cultural diversity in the in the video. The song "Walk It" we 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 did it in 2013. We recorded the video a little bit later. Um, I think Pitbull's a great person to work with. He's very very understandable, very kind. We did like a hip hop song, so it was my first time doing hip hop music. I think the most memorable thing was honestly the video, getting all the girls from all of the races together and walking it through the streets of Kyocho in Miami and owning it and, and, and supporting women empowerment because this, the video is different than the song. The video really shows like a strong empowerment for women um, standing together from different cultures. And I think that would be the most memorable part of the song was the video. Okay, thank you. What was, what's your plan for 2019? Won't bust ya. Keep back and let them boys won't touch. Surprise! 
Then they go lights off, put on the gas, ready to ride. We gon' go to war, but you better be ready to save out of your life. These are lessons learned in the streets. Something that school just can't teach. Yeah, your dick is the only thing that you be. Papa, just tell the truth. But from the street, I can tell that you ain't got the heart to shoot. I can see it in your eyes. You don't have to lie, but do your wife and kids have to die? Shit, they just might. If you keep on playing with them boys, I'm in power, money, go me, God, that I won't got killed. Don't get your end of the year hopefully i will you know maybe be up for a grammy nomination honestly i really feel like this is the year for myself my team my family and um growing my relationship closer to god is really important to me so hopefully by the end of the year i'll be even closer with god because he's been blessing me so much already and i know that 2019 i have many more songs record many more collaborations and many things to do in the world that are going to leave me behind a legacy Thank you. This is the, the best thing I can wish you for. Um, your story is so powerful, really. I, I really love your music. I love your style. Um, I love your soul. I love everything. Uh, and I have um, another question for you. Um, if you have um, an advice uh, to, to tell to our writers, what would you? I mean, just like tell to the world or in general just about life? Oh, well, um, life is a very short process, and through music, I have found a lot of love um, and a lot of hate, so I am taking all of the love and turning it into a much stronger uh, relationship than people have with hate. I know that um, in this life, we should be good people, whether we're musicians or artists. I always say music's a big platform for me. Me going into fashion and, and being acknowledged by big designers just as a musician and as a person has opened my eyes. I believe in world diversity. I, I want to tell everyone to love each other, to support each other, and no matter where you are in your life, no matter what your dreams are, you stay true to those dreams. I've been through hell and back, trying to continue on the music and finding fashion in Paris has created another uh, opportunity for me and more love to stay in this industry because being a musician is not easy. There's a lot of fighting that you have to do. I myself say always stay independent. Don't become owned by the industry. Don't let people own you. You know, don't, don't become something that you're not. Be who you are. And no matter what you go through in life, to, if you're an artist, if you're a lawyer, if you're a doctor, if you're just in a nine to five worker, be good, love each other, uh, do not discriminate against each other. Be positive, and no matter what your dreams are, never give up on them. And that's what I would say to the world. Sing, 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 so I can try. Okay. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Somewhere over the rainbow, the skies are blue, but the dreams that you dare to dream.